is one of the most coveted art forms here in West Michigan, and it's entertained families for decades. As you can imagine, many miss Grand Rapids Ballet performances. So what is the status of the 2020-21 year? Join us this morning, Artistic Director James Sofranco. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. Just fine. Thank you. Wonderful. So what is the status right now of the ballet? So uh, we had to cut short the end of our season last year um, as pretty much the whole world had to shut down. We did too, um, which created a bit of a hardship for us. Um, of course, uh, we had a lot of lost ticket revenue, um, loss, uh, we had to cancel our in-person summer program, but um, we had to find ways to be creative and uh, figure out how we can still bring the art of ballet and the joy of teaching ballet as well to our students. You can see we have a setup here in our studio. Um, usually this summer is uh, filled with students in here and it's been a little bit eerie recently, um, unfortunately, but you know we're still able to connect with them virtually and creativity finds a way. We're, we're still gonna um, work hard to bring the, the ballet to the students. And, and they've been really eager actually to, uh, to participate from their living rooms, from their basements. Um, our professional company is still excited to come back next year, but unfortunately we did have to make the tough decision to uh, move all of our scheduled performances for the 2020, 2021 season. It's a mouthful to say, um, ahead a whole year so that we can still keep that season intact instead of just keeping, keeping on delaying and delaying and delaying. So we decided to move it just a whole year so we can plan for something brand new, something uh, virtual. So there's gonna be a lot of ballet coming to a screen near you uh, very soon. I said, that's kind of our new normal, isn't it? Virtual is just kind of the way we're going with everything right now. It's what we have to do. It's kind of the way we're, we, have to, we have to go. Of course, I don't think anything is gonna take the place of live performance. We do have our own theater attached to our building, the Peter Martin Weggie Theater, which is wonderful and amazing. Um, if we are able to bring people into our theater at some point throughout the year, we will do that. Um, our subscribers will have the first chance at those tickets. Um, but until we get the green light on that, of course, we're, we're going all virtual. Um, in this time, we, we've we pledged to still be creative and collaborative. So we're talking with uh, the Grand Rapids Symphony a lot about how we can collaborate together and create art for our community still. Um, I did a piece of choreography at the Meyer Gardens where I had two dancers dancing socially distanced um, at the base of a sculpture. And we filmed it in such a way that it looked like they're together in the end final film, but they were not together in real life. So we're exploring lots of different creative ways to use camera techniques to uh, enhance our art form actually and, and you know there's there's always lemonade when there's lemonades when there's lemons Absolutely. I, I, I totally get what you're saying absolutely and no the thing is these are these these guys they, they need to stay in shape right i mean so they need to constantly stay moving yes um unfortunately most people's living rooms are not as big as a dance studio <laughs> so yeah you can't you, you go tom bay potable and you hit the wall and you you kick your leg to the back and you ow so um yeah, we're, we actually opened their studio for uh, solo dancers to come in um, one by one to uh, just get some kinks out to move around. Um, it's not the same thing as dancing every day here in the studio um, for six, seven hours a day. Um, but we're working on getting the dancers into pods, into small groups, so that then they can utilize our studio um, in, in these pods and we can have them dance together for these virtual films. Well, hang in there. We'll keep following you online. We can go to grballet.com for the latest details. You can also call 616-454-4771. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.